Hello again and welcome to the third talk. Now you may remember at the end of the first talk we already had a scale of D major and we had three chords that we could use just from the harmonic series. I'm going to put these together now and we'll start understanding, I hope, how harmony works. I'm using three chords. Those were the three open strings with their harmonic series and I'm using just the notes of the scale of D major. Now it doesn't take much imagination to move the idea of the triad onto the next step of the scale and then we can move them onto all steps of the scale always using the notes, only the notes, of the scale of D major. If I take a triad of D major and lower the middle note, I get D minor. So I can observe that the triads of the scale of D major are D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, a major, B minor, and this chap has a name all to himself because he's neither major nor minor, but diminished. If I lower the fifth note of the minor triad, I get a diminished chord, and the seventh step of the scale is diminished. One, two, three, Five, six, seven, one. There's no such thing as eight. The steps of the scale are always just the one of these seven. And we've, as we've already said, the most common are the first, fourth, and fifth steps. So why don't I put this down now, and I'll go into C major and just show you the chords. One. Five with a seventh, and one again. Four, one. Four, one. Fifth with seventh, one. One, fifth with seventh, and one to end. With this information, I can transpose into any key I want. One, one, fifth with seventh, and so on. So the first exercise now with this is to play Silent Night with the chords of one, Five, seven and four. And so on. Trust your ears. Please do this as much as possible without music. The idea is to get your ears as quickly associated with your fingers, especially if you're not a pianist. I know that these things are quite exhausting for people who play other instruments. The last exercise is to make out of these chords broken chords, as I did when I was playing the carol in D major. Okay? Uh, if you can do these two exercises, you can actually get through an amazing amount of Christmas carols and folk songs, which almost invariably are only using three chords. One, four, and five.